everyone welcome back to my youtube channel if you are new to this channel welcome my name is lesejo ramela aka lesejo ranko if you don't already know on this channel it's all about learning growth and contribution i'm so excited to be back on my sit down videos because i haven't been doing a lot of these frequently and that's because i recently started a new job it's not that recent anymore three months we don't say it's recent but it's a probationary period right but i feel like i was spending the last three months trying to stabilize but also try to produce content and show you a bit of what's been happening but i thought let me come back because it's october and i wanted to make sure that you are fully equipped to be tackling exams so in this video i'll be covering some of the challenges that accounting students actually face i'll also be talking about ways to overcome it in my next video um, i think the video after that we'll be talking about the different learning styles that different people have and then finally i'll share some accounting study tips if i could put it like that whether you're a student that's in university or whether you are a student that's in high school i think these videos will be very beneficial because it will give you a broad sense of what the accounting journey is like right and i feel like these challenges are persistent throughout whichever phase that you are in within the journey itself it's just that obviously at certain stages the challenge is like more pressing if i could put it like that so this is not an exhaustive list but based on my own research based on my own experience this is what i found to be most challenging for accounting students and let me know in the comments below which one you resonate with because for me as i'm doing my research i'm like yo let's say everything was a challenge <laughs> the entire journey was a challenge and i'll forever ever 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 preach the grace of god on my life while i was going through this journey because it's not easy and kudos to you if you are an accounting student i feel like we don't hear well done you are doing great don't worry the effort is going to be also worth it at the very end often enough and i feel like i want to be that person to tell you that you are still on track you are still doing amazing there is absolutely so many opportunities that are waiting for you if you could just keep pressing on and keep holding out i know sometimes on the journey it does feel like what am i actually doing you know i had a season like that where it just was not clicking i just felt to myself like this thing is too hard it's too difficult it's a giant it's too much of a mountain i cannot overcome it in my own strength and my own capacity but that's when i knew to reach out to certain people but I'm going to, I'm going to, I don't want to get ahead of myself. I'm going to talk about the challenges in this video and then I'll tell you how I overcame those challenges and I hope that you can overcome these challenges as well. So one of the first things that I feel like I need to talk about, it's very obvious guys, the complexities that are in accounting, number one, is the most challenging thing that I feel like students actually face. Accounting is not an easy subject, right? Only the brave and I feel like only the persistent are the ones that actually make it in the long haul. It's not about you being the smartest in the room, it's about you being consistent and disciplined enough to come back after failure because this journey is like a test of esteem it's a test of pain man it's like the the people with the highest tolerance of pain are the ones that succeed at the end because it's not always the smart ones right and i feel like every stage humbles different people i know people that were thriving in high school that were thriving in university but when they were writing exams they bought exams it was dribbling them Whereas for other people, it was the other way. They weren't doing so well in high school. They weren't doing so well in varsity. And then all of a sudden, they were superstars. While they were writing, they bought exams. So allow the seasons to come and go. But at the same time, you are validated that this thing is difficult. You know, there is complexities. It's not every day that you wake up and Ifris 9 gives you like the urge to want to get out of bed you know what i mean financial instruments is not an easy concept to understand and i feel like students usually stop their journey when they like come across the pain and the resistance that comes with the complexities but i feel like once you break it down into the fundamentals you will really try and see why the standard for example actually exists but this is one challenge and i feel like this challenge specifically becomes more evident the further on along your journey you go obviously also i feel like in the beginning of the accounting journey if you are introduced for the first time to accounting on accounting concepts it's not like easy grasped concepts like what is a debit 
Yeah. What what is a credit? What it's an asset. <laughs> An expense, equity, what is that, you know? That's not everyday language. But I feel like make peace with the fact that this journey on its own has its own complexities. But nothing that can't speak back to you is going to overcome you. Just put your mind over matter and realize that even though there are certain complexities, there are ways around it. I feel like it's also important to talk about how in university also when accounting broadens up because I feel like for students that are in high school they do most of the bookkeeping right you do like the balance sheet you do the uh, profit and loss statement or the income statement you also do like the statement of changes in equity you get introduced to like companies and partnerships it's very theoretical but once you get to university and you get introduced to stuff like the actual financial reporting when you do auditing when you do management accounting and they introduced costing and finance oh my gosh then it's like what is happening you know and then there's also tax that's like heavily legislative and you have to know certain case studies and remember this is why SARS is always taking my money you know those things are not everyday things but the more you stay in the journey the more you build an interest and the more you focus on the why these complexities don't become as complex like once you learn to simplify concepts and i try to do a lot of that with my youtube channel with my content to try to make it as simple as possible so that you can realize that it only becomes simple once you take the time to actually understand the why because once you understand the why the complexities go right out the window but again the challenge does exist i'm not going to undermine that the second challenge that i feel like most people actually even like stress about especially if they don't have like accounting background or if they didn't do like maths in high school they start panicking when they get to university but accounting is very mathematical there is a lot of numerics there guys one plus one equals two uh, what's the accounting equation assets minus liabilities equals equity you know i'm even forgetting them but there is some level of mathematical literacy that you need to have and a lot of people don't necessarily um explore their analytical side once they move out of this phase of like cramming information and have to be very practical it is a bit daunting like even for me i did maths when i was in high school and i was fortunate enough that when i did maths i really surrounded myself with like the smartest people like it's not that i was the smartest in the room i just knew who to talk to and i knew that that girl the one that sits in the front she knows what she's doing so i made sure that i rubbed shoulders with them i knew the study techniques that they had but there is some level of one plus one that you must know it's a challenge it's there but what can must happen the other thing that comes with having this mathematical literacy it's not just about the numbers now i don't want to deter you and say if you don't have a strong maths background it's a wrap for you there are people that really start this accounting journey at varsity some people even in the uk they even study arts and then they have a revelation that they should be an accountant and then they study accounting so it's not that it's impossible it's just that you must be able to put in the time and the effort when the time comes to get into the mathematics of everything to understand what is present value what is a payment you know what are the terms of a loan agreement like things like that are a real challenge that present themselves later on in your journey the third challenge that i feel like i'm going to touch on is something that namanj even after you've qualified <laughs> it's a real thing time management now the workload in accounting is so much from the moment you're in high school up until university up until you're a trainee there is just not enough time to learn all of these concepts and the workload sometimes just feels like i am not going to get through it but accounting is one of those subjects that you can't cheat like if you don't practice it's going to show in your marks <laughs> like if you're not going to be disciplined enough to designate the appropriate time to get through the workload it shows itself it presents itself it's it's so disciplined i feel like it is so 
proud that it's accounting that it would not allow you to cheat it so because of the workload right if you don't allocate the time the necessary time each and every day to practicing a question guys i'm not saying learn the entire standard i'm just saying just once every day just do one tutorial question all i'm saying is just do one exam paper and see how the journey becomes smoother and it becomes easier because of the fact not that the work is becoming easier it's because you are becoming stronger and you're you're getting your your thinking under wraps you're also learning to manage your time because yes if you're a student for example you want to go out with your friends to university we understand if you are in high school you have other subjects english is also going to dribble you here and there those Macbeths are not going to be easy you know what i mean like even maths itself is a separate subject <laughs> And like people are like, am I am I doing math or am I doing accounting? But math in itself is also a subject. So you also need to dedicate time for certain things. If you are a trainee, yo, some people as trainees are getting married. Some people are having babies. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? So you also need time to attend to your life. But at the same time, if you don't learn to incorporate accounting within like small portions, the volume the time management oh my gosh it will overwhelm you the fourth challenge which speaks to also the first one that i mentioned is just the conceptual understanding behind accounting yes i spoke about the mathematical aspect of it but certain concepts really i only know them because i went to school for accounting otherwise these things that we learn in our lectures, these things that we learn in our tutorials, that we learn in our classroom, it's not everyday things if you are not in finance, if you're not in business, if you're not an entrepreneur, right? Certain languages, certain concepts are applicable because this is how a business is successful. This is how a business operates. This is what shareholders are looking out for. So having that conceptual understanding is key, but it is such a challenge to wrap your head around what was Ifris 16 trying to achieve like I just don't understand conceptually what it's trying to do or what it's trying to achieve but there is a method to why the standard exists it's because people in the practical sense right they would understand their own business they would understand I have a tenant I want to lease where's the problem the problem presents itself when you actually have to now communicate that you had a tenant and that you wanted to lease and now this information needs to be comparable between everyone across all industries that are trying to have um, make meaningful decisions from this information and that's why conceptually understanding some some standards some issues it is very tricky i don't want to lie guys i am here to validate all of these challenges and i hope as i'm speaking it's resonating like you can understand where i'm coming from and why i'm so passionate about these challenges the other challenge which for me i personally struggle with is just keeping up with the updates guys accounting is forever changing because regulations are changing standards are, ch are changing tax legislation is changing and it's changing because the world is changing like people are becoming more creative and sometimes you think to yourself as an auditor as an accountant like yo guys does it get worse it does <laughs> it does because things are forever changing so keeping up to date because before if 16 there was IAS 17. Before IFRS 9, there was that funny IS 39, or I can't remember what's that standard. But things were forever evolving, and you can imagine the panic that people in business actually face when people become more creative. But at the same time, it is a real challenge that keeping up to date is not easy. But again, I'm going to talk more about like how to how to address these challenges and also not to allow them to like just sit in your system because i feel like that's what we do like we see a challenge and we're like and then what <laughs> and then you fix it and then you're supposed to fix it so i feel like keeping up to date is not easy but there is a way around it there is a way to keep up to track with the changing environment that is around you the second last thing that i say is also such a big challenge is just problem solving and problem solving is it seems like such an easy thing but guys if only you knew problem solving is a skill <laughs> it is a skill like 
this is a top tip that I wasn't even planning to put, but in your CV there, if you can solve problems, put it there. Because not everybody has problem solving skills and it is such a challenge because when people are faced with problems, they either buckle, they shut down, they don't even want to like approach a question. Like I, I know first glance, having experienced the journey that I've experienced, right? Facing problems is never easy. And it's such a monumental challenge because by virtue of you just being in accounting, Thing, you are problem solver like your job role wherever you're going to be whether you stay in audit or out of audit you are going to have to solve problems and it is such a challenge but the minute you start getting comfortable with the idea that accounting needs problem solvers it's going to be so much easier for you to navigate the next challenge that is definitely coming your way the last challenge that I want to speak on is just communication skills, right? And I feel like this goes hand in hand with problem skills because with communication skills, I feel like students, namanje, even for me, guys, I sometimes have to open like financials of a random company just so that I can get familiar with what is a balance sheet? What is a statement of financial position? What is an income statement? What is a profit and loss statement? What are you trying to say? And I find that students always think that like if I understand the answer, or if I know the answer, then presentation doesn't matter. And granted, the further along you go in your journey, you learn about presentation marks. You learn about those extra two ticks that are a difference between a 48 and a 50. <laughs> <laughs> you know just because you didn't put a date there you didn't put the header there just because you didn't put the columns there you didn't put a subtotal over there like communication is such an important skill and i feel like it comes across even in the workplace when you have to know how to communicate to a manager or to a partner or to your peers right but it starts off by knowing is the layout of my question correct did I write a memo when they asked me for a memo? Did I write down a report? Do I understand what is an email? Do I, do I know what an email looks like? You might be sending emails every day, but because you're writing an exam, you have to type out from the beginning to from subject, <laughs> you know, CC. And you forget that. And again, it's like, it's not that you forget because you are dumb, <laughs> you know? I just validated you to tell you if you're doing accounting, you you are a real king and a queen you know what i mean but it's not that you're dumb it's because you don't do it every day your phone is automated your emails it's an app but now because you're writing apc and they tell you write an email you forget the format now that they're telling you write a memo you forget oh my gosh i needed to include a, a heading i needed to include what is the subject matter of my memo like things like that signing it off like it seems very obvious and now that I speak about it, I realize that as students, sometimes we fall short on our own selves, not because our lecturers aren't doing enough, not because our tutors are not doing enough, not because the people that are around us are not doing enough, it's because we're not spending enough time introspecting and literally writing down all of these challenges and finding ways that work for us that we can overcome that, right? Nobody has a responsibility to put in accounting in you right it's a situation where you're going to have to practice it's going to come with time you have to learn how to be patient with yourself you have to learn how to be patient um, with the people that are around you that are trying to teach you because again accounting is not an easy thing to do let alone an easy thing to teach so kudos to all the people that are doing the lord's work even for me later on in my life when i'm a lecturer kudos to me you know what i mean but it's not an easy thing to get across people, but I feel like it can be done. And I hope in my next video, you can join me as I share all the ways you can overcome these challenges and hopefully, hopefully give you something to look forward to, give you some hope, some inspiration, something to hold on to in this October season when you are writing your exams. But do an exercise for me, please, in the comments below, even if you're not comfortable with commenting down below, take your journal, write down what challenges am I facing? And next week, not even next week, I feel like very soon, we're going to explore how we can overcome these challenges because CASAs are not enough in our country. We need more of them. We need more conceptual thinkers. We need more problem solvers. And because change begins with us ourselves, I feel like the world around us will only change if the people around us are, if the people 
people around us even us if we are more bold about the things that we are studying if we are more disciplined in what we are studying if we are more forthcoming in showing the interest in what we are studying but otherwise i hope you found this video very useful please don't forget to like to comment to share and to subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video don't forget to subscribe <laughs> bye